We're less than a week away from the premiere of Blue Beetle, and so far the early reactions are pretty good, but is that actually going to be enough to make this movie a success? Well, let's jump into this article from The Hollywood Reporter, which talks about it. So, fans and influencers are tweeting their impressions of the newest superhero title, and the general takeaway is this. Blue Beetle is a surprisingly solid superhero origin story with the winning performance by Zillow Maraduena of Cobra Kai, and plenty of heart, humor, and warm embrace of Latin culture. All right, so... Just for record, I mean, I do like Zolo Marinduena. I mean, I'm a fan of Cobra Kai, and I think he does a good job on the show. And the physicality that they have to do on that show, I can see why he would actually be good for a superhero role when there's a lot of physicality and fighting and other things like that. So I think that's actually a plus for the movie's favor. Uh, one of the biggest sticking points about this is also the director, though. I mean, that, at least that's a, I mean, that, I mean, that as a, that's an issue with this because he, I mean, early on, he did kind of attack fans who were criticizing some of the things in the early trailer. And then he since had to try to walk that back and play nice about it, which, but that's also not a good look when you are actually openly attacking fans and mocking fans of uh, superhero movies. So take with that what you will. I mean, whether you forgive him or whether you care about that is, it's ultimately up to you or whatever, but I'm just feeling like that's something to point out and why that might be a sticking point for this movie, despite some of the early, uh, reactions to it being generally positive and also the other 800 pound gorilla in the room is just the fact that a lot of people aren't sure about the future of this movie with DC because when this movie was announced it was supposed to be like part of the DCEU which is like all these team-up movies and this is going to be another character well now since James Gunn and Peter Safran took over that future is uncertain and a lot of people are wondering is this just going to be a one-off thing and by all intents and purposes it could uh, quite possibly could be of course they've tried to give mixed reactions the director of this has said it's part of the future of dc uh, james gunn later says it's not then the director says like well it can be if the movie's successful and i think that's probably the best answer that we're going to get is that if this movie for some reason if it made like a billion dollars warner brothers is not gonna be like nope this isn't part of james gunn universe they'd they'd be like uh no we're gonna find some way of fitting this in there and i think james gunn even confirmed that that's the case if People basically, if people want to see this, then they're going to see it. But yeah, scrolling down into the article, it talks more about this. Given that the following are not official critic reviews, first of all, I hate that characterization. Uh, they should be taken with some skepticism as first reactions tend to skew positive. I mean, I think fan reactions are more important than critic reactions. At least that's my opinion. Because I mean, a fan reaction is going to dictate whether a movie is successful. I mean, that's not necessarily going to dictate whether a movie is good because a movie can be good and not make any money and a movie can be bad and make uh, all the money in the world. So, uh, but I mean, if I'm, ju I'm talking about the success of the movie, not necessarily the quality of it. And the success is more or less predicated on how audiences like it. But yeah, this does point out rightfully that the flash had good reactions and it did bad. I mean, yeah, we even still see on Rotten Tomatoes, it's 83%. Uh, but of course, we all know this is one of the biggest box office flops for Warner Brothers history. Uh, and I think it was like last I checked, it was like $250, $300 million at a loss for the company. So again, just because it had positive reactions to it and people seem to like it doesn't mean it's actually going to be successful. I mean, maybe you just get people who really love it and will praise it. But what you could have is just apathy entirely where people just don't care enough even to go see it to give it a bad review or even go on here to give it a bad review. I'm not saying that's the case with Blue Beetle, but I'm just saying positive reactions aren't necessarily everything. And another sticking point with this that could turn off a lot of people is just a lot of these praises that are coming from it that you see cited in this article. I'm not going to read them all. You can pause the video if you want to read them more in depth. But what's happening is a lot of them are talking about the Latino culture and stuff with this, which I think that's fine. I actually like the idea that if you're going to have a superhero, if you want to have a Latino superhero, then make an original character who's of that origin. That's better than trying to race swap or gender swap characters and stuff, how they've done for other things. I've always said, like, if you want to have a character to represent this group, then create an original character. And that's what they've done of blue beetle. The problem though, is when you have a character who that's a big part of their identity, then it might be alienating. Cause when you had superheroes in the past, they tried to have like more universal appeal. Like uh, Superman, for instance, was literally just trying I mean, yeah, he was a white guy, but he was just trying to be like more universally appealing and have more universal values or whatever. If you try to steep it too much in a particular culture or group, then it might seem alienating to some people. And that might be a, 
a turn off for some. But I mean, at the same time, we did see Barbie, though, that was strictly just trying to cater to the female demographic and it was successful. So if I try to find a movie that's catering to the Latino demographic, it might be equally successful. Who knows? Or it, it might not. But I mean, it, like I said, I actually appreciate the effort, though, with this. But again, like these early reactions, I'm wondering if it's actually going to play into the box office performance of it because uh, we did get the early projections. I mean, this was the earliest ones from back in June, I believe. And it said it's uh, about 12 to 17 million, which is a pretty low box office take for an opening of a movie of this size. I mean, this probably needs to make around four or five hundred million dollars in order to be considered a success. I think it's more around the four range because I think this was a fairly cheaper one. And then the, uh, since then, it's actually been revised. This was from just a few days ago, and it says a $30 million opening. So that's quite a bit better. But even then, that's still a pretty low amount unless it, this movie really does have legs underneath it. Uh, but, I mean, if it's a $30 million opening and then it just has a steep drop-off, well, then this is just another one of the box office flops for Warner Brothers and DC. But, I mean, if it actually has good word of mouth and people like it and it has more universal appeal than what initially appears, then maybe this will be a good movie that people like and will break that string of flops. And then, who knows, maybe we'll see more Blue Beetle in the future of the DCEU. I mean, I can't say for certain right now. I mean, and no one really knows for certain what's going to happen. I just know that the director says he wants to continue this and James Gunn sends these open to the concept so let me know what you think about all this in the comments i mean do you want to see this movie uh are you just going to pass are you checked out of it uh and if you like this video make sure you click the like button share the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with the latest news thank you